Hello and welcome to Typedesk. I'm super happy to welcome you here and to go through Typedesk with you today. Uh, together, we'll go through everything there is to know about Typedesk, how to set it up, how it works, uh, what's important to know when you get started, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm Mike, by the way, I'm the founder of Typedesk, uh, which I created a few years back. Uh, first off, when you open Typedesk on your computer, uh, you'll arrive on the login screen. You can create your account. Uh, one question we get sometimes is, should I set up the Mac version or the Windows version or the browser extension, or can I use the web version? It's completely up to you. Just remember that the desktop versions for Mac and Windows are just slightly more powerful and they allow to do more things than with the browser extension or the web version. Uh, I'll create my account with email password and my first name. Whoops. All right. And we are in. Uh, first, Typedesk is asking me to invite my coworkers because it works great if you have your whole team on board uh, to share your responses. So feel free to do that right away if you plan to work with your coworkers on Typedesk and uh, you can skip it if, uh, if you don't uh, plan on inviting anyone and if you wanna work on your own. I'm gonna add Josh here, enter and then finish. Okay, so I'm in. Um, Typedesk, the first time I start the app is asking me a couple of things. Uh, there's an onboarding. Sometimes you will see the keyboard training uh, show up here. I've done that before, so it's not asking me again. Uh, when it's the case, just follow the instructions to um, train your keyboard. Typedesk needs to understand how your keyboard works, so it's important you take the time to do it. And once you're done, you'll be able to do things like that, forward slash email, and it's going to fill in with your email everywhere you work. Could be uh, your email client, could be uh, Slack, could be your back office, wherever you need it, really. So this just this is just a, a confirmation that everything is set up properly. Um, so uh, feel free to try it out. I'm going to continue the onboarding. Take your time to have a look through the uh, little videos and uh, descriptions here. It's nice to get started. OK, so that's Typedesk. Uh, as you will see it when it's completely set up, I have a bunch of responses that are set up already for me. Um, so I have a few sections here, the sidebar which is where I'll find my folders, uh, personal and team folders. Then I have all the responses that I have on my account and then the live preview on the right side, uh, which is where you will be able to edit and see uh, your responses as they will show up in your emails, documents, et cetera, et cetera. Um, first off, the question I usually get is, uh, how can I share my responses with people? First of all, if you go into settings and users, you will see here that you have the list of users that are on your plan, and then you can add users very easily by, by adding a different email here, for instance. And that's how you basically add users to your plan. Uh, and then you can either share your own folders or team folders. The main difference between shared and team folders is um, your own folders, when you share them, you can decide if you want to give edit rights or not. So if I put Josh in this folder, I can decide whether I want Josh to be able to edit responses in that folder. Uh, in a team folder, uh, when you add people in, in a team folder, uh, they will always be able to edit the responses. It's a completely collaborative, a folder where everyone can make edits to the responses. And this is great, for instance, for uh, tech support teams that need to have responses uh, up to date for everyone. And uh, it works great in, in many, many cases where you want to work together in responses. So usually when people get there, the first question is, so what can I do with that? Uh, if you look in the list, there's a, a bunch of, uh, of uh, little yellow tags like this one, like today, lorem, try me. And those, once set up on your computer, work everywhere. So if I take an email, for instance, and I type in those quick shortcuts there with a slash, with a forward slash before them. So it's forward slash try me it's going to autofill my contents automatically. So 
So this is just a very basic example of how you can use Typedesk to boost your productivity. Um, so I have a bunch here I can try with LoRem, for instance. Sometimes people ask, uh, do I have to use the forward slash? And the answer is yes, because this is ensuring that Typedesk only records uh, the keystrokes that you are uh, actually needing for the quick shortcuts. Uh, it's it's privacy first, and so that's that's a great way to ensure your privacy at all times. Um, so I have a few. I have today, for instance. Let me try it again. Today, oops, and it's gonna auto insert the date. Um, okay, so list of responses, a uh, very basic example. Uh, let me show you now how you can create a response. You can either use create a response or edit the current response there. So I'm asked for a name, that's a demo. Let's say it's gonna be a uh, location picker. Let's say I need to um, uh, have an email where I can offer uh, a, a pickup address depending on, on where you're located. So here's your pickup address. The thing I, I wanna show is variables. You can see that I have a bunch of variables available on the sidebar. There are some really uh, uh, classic ones like inserting your own first name. So hello, this is your first name. So that's gonna be yours from the team at Typedesk, okay? Now let's say you want to insert the uh, uh, recipient first name. Uh, in order to do that, we're gonna use another variable called text. Essentially, what text does is create a small form that you can fill, it, fill in at runtime uh, in order to build your can response. And that's where the variables are coming in super handy. Um, so I'm gonna use text, and the question would be enter the first, recipient's first name. We won't leave a, a default value, and, uh, and we, I don't wanna remember the last entered value. We, we could use there, for instance. If we don't wanna enter the name, it's gonna say hello there. Okay, let's try this one already. I haven't assigned a quick shortcut yet. So let, let me go through the sidebar uh, just quickly. Uh, variants um, are essentially a way to create a different version of the same response. So let's say this one, for instance, is the English version and I want a response Spanish. The Spanish is completely different. So, hola es en español. Great Spanish there. I'm going to save this one. And then the last bit I want to show is the settings. That's where you'll be able to set up the quick response shortcut. The quick response shortcut is what we use. Uh, with the forward slash in order to quickly access a response. So I'll call this one location pick, for instance. You can add a private note and, uh, and copy as plain text, but this is detail. So you can see now that the response is showing my, my quick shortcut, which is location pick. So if I use location pick here, Typedesk is now asking me a few questions to fill in the canned response. So the first one is asking me, do you want the English or the Spanish version? So I'm gonna go for the English one. And then it's asking me to enter the recipient's first name. That's gonna be Bob. And then, as you can see, it's, it's creating those uh, responses dynamically. So hello, Bob. This is Michelle, which is a variable uh, from the team at Typedesk. Here's your pickup address. Now, Let's say we need to select one pickup address out of two different addresses that we have uh, in, our, in our store. Let me go and edit that. For that, I'm gonna use a select variable. So the select variable allows you to select one or more options uh, to fill in your can response. So here I'm gonna say select location, and then it's gonna be New York or
you can allow multiple options if you want. Uh, in that case, there's only one address uh, available at a time. So I'm gonna insert that, save. And now if I use my response, so that's location, pick, English, Mike, and then New York, San Francisco, I can select San Francisco and you can see that San Francisco is used in my camera response. There are a few more variables that you can use. Uh, the gender conditional is used to say something different depending on whether this is a male or a female you're talking to. You can have a morning afternoon conditional depending on the time of the day. You have um, your account variables and then you have other date and time variables or random value. For instance, let's say, let's say in one case, thanks a lot. And another case, we appreciate doing business with you. So in that case, uh, what's great is Typedesk is gonna select randomly one or the other, or you can add a third option, which is great chatting. And it's gonna make your can responses sound natural because they'll be different every time. So I'll save that. Location, pick, English. And then New York. And this time it's selected, we appreciate doing business with you. One more time. Oops. English, uh, Bob, New York. And you can see that this time it's using a great chatting. So that's the essential uh, that you need to know about Typedesk. Obviously I'm doing this in an email, but it works everywhere you do. So it could be Slack, it could be, uh, a website, it could be a, a chat bot or any, any other basically text input that you are using on your computer. Um, last but not least, the menus. So you can, when you click on your name, have the main menu where you can access your account, manage your users. Uh, but mo most importantly, there's the help center, which has lots of resources to help you get started. Uh, the get started page, and know what's new if you need to uh, know what's being updated in the versions lately. Uh, all right, I think that's a complete tour of Typedesk. I uh, hope you like it and uh, reach out to us and to our team if you have any questions.